Welcome to Electra Online. There's nothing like a good example to help understand the material. So here we're going to give you an example of how to use the time equation. We're given some parameters. We have an object with a certain mass hanging from a spring with a spring constant k that's oscillating up and down. And at time equals zero, it is at its maximum extent in the negative direction. Now here, since we're going vertical, this is positive, this is negative. So the equation we need to use is this equation right here. The position as a function of time is equal to negative a cosine omega t because it's on the negative side, maximum value for x at time equals zero. So to find the velocity as a function of time, we need to take our equation, take the derivative of that equation to find the velocity. After we take the derivative, we find that the velocity is equal to this equation right here. Then we plug in the parameters, and notice you have to have your calculator in radian mode because this is, will be in radians, not in degrees. And so you end up with this value right here. Always check to make sure you get the right value here when you plug this angle into the sine function, realizing that these are radians, not degrees. We're also supposed to find the frequency and the period. Now this is the oscillation frequency, so there's a relation between the radial frequency and the oscillation frequency, so solving for f we get this, plug in the values, we get 3.18 oscillations per second. Notice that the angular frequency is 20 radians per second. And finally to find the period, we take the inverse of the frequency, so we take the inverse of that, and end up with one oscillation takes 0.314 seconds, and that is how it's done.